Hello everyone. Welcome to Creative Girl Vintage. I'm Tammy and I'm so happy that you're here today. And so I wanted to do for you a little vintage Valentine assemblage. Um, amongst the gazillions of things in my craft room, I had this little kind of bent up vintage heart-shaped cookie cutter. And when I was at Michael's after Christmas, I found these little wooden houses, so I had those. I collected some other odds and ends that I had around my craft room and thought, okay, let me see what I can put together here. And maybe it'll come out cute. I don't know. I've got some vintage lace here. We'll see what happens. And um, also, I hope that you'll stick around um, because I've got some other Valentine goodness to share with you. So let's begin. <music> Okay, I think a good starting point here would be to decorate our little cookie cutter base. So I found this scrap of lace. This looks like it's been cut off of something, um, but I measured it and I had enough to go around, so I was really glad. So what I'm gonna do is hot glue this around the base. Let me see, how about, yeah, look at how pretty that looks if I, oh, that looks really good. If I have that lace kind of sticking up like that a little bit. All right, we're just gonna do, just some hot glue and go around. I always find this sticks really well. I hope everybody is getting off to a good start with your new year. I certainly am. I'm staying busy. And that's always a good thing, right? Okay, let's just snip off the excess here. You'll notice these scissors, I put a little tie on them. That means fabric only. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, all right, so we got our trim on here. Then I have another little scrappity scrap here. Let me just cut a piece off of this. And let's see, I think we're gonna use the front of this for front of our piece. Okay, let's put our little scrappity scrap right there. Just for a little extra layer. Okay, that was simple. Our base is ready. Let's go to the next step. As always, everything I'm using today, I'll link in the description box below this video. And I did find these, so I was kind of surprised that they're, they are out there. So the first thing I did was I picked out a little house and I painted it just a simple white, just to save time for this video. So we're not watching paint dry. I just did it ahead of time. And then I have here a one inch wooden block. And what I did with my block is, I painted one side of it a pale blue. I think I found this at Target a long time ago. It was a Waverly chalk paint in crystal. Such a pretty color. And then I had a rosy beige that I painted every other side with. I left the, the bottom unfinished. So what happens is when I laid my little house on the block, I have like pretty little blue windows. So I thought that looked really cute. So basically, this is going to be glued down to the block. So I'm gonna start there. Let's see if I just do two little lines on my block. Lay my house down. Make sure it's nice and flush. There we go, that's cute. Okay, so um, I needed something to support this house. You see where I'm going here? I had, I had to I had to set this up on this little assemblage. I'm like, how am I gonna do that? So I thought, well, let's try this route. Let's see what we got. The next thing I'm gonna do, I thought a little banner on the top would be cute. So I printed out on my computer, Love Lives Here. And I'm just gonna cut this out and make it look very banner-like. Okay, and let's see, wait, that's a little big. Let's just chop it down a little bit. And a couple little points on the end, like so. Okay, get rid of the scraps here. How about, ooh, 
I'm going to pull out the Distress Ink in uh, Worn Lipstick. That's nice for Valentine's Day. A little bit of pink lipstick for Valentine's Day. All right. Just go around the edges. Get that a little bit of a dimension. Okay. So I want to put my banner up here. And in order to do that, I'm going to grab a toothpick. That's going to be like my little flagpole. Let me just cut off that pointy part. And I'm going to glue this to the back of my little banner. Just a little dot of hot glue. And smack right there. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is grab my drill. And I'm just going to put a little hole right here. What that's going to do is just going to give that toothpick, a.k.a. flagpole, a little place to grab. Okay, otherwise you just really can't glue it in there. Um, sometimes if I don't want to take the drill out, I will take a nail and a hammer and just pop in a little bitty hole. You don't need much, just something... Just something to support that, okay? And of course we can put a little dot of glue on that and glue that in. Kind of wanted to sit in there by itself pretty good though. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's attach the house to the base. And that's going to sit down there really good because that cookie cutter is all bent up and flat so I'm just gonna pop that on right onto that lace right there Let's see, I'm gonna make sure there's enough glue okay cute 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 all right now we get to decorate our house so if you guys saw my video, um, I'm going to link it below for you, where I um, dyed these pink little bottle brush trees and glittered them. It's such a simple little technique, so if you missed that one, be sure to catch it. That's a really cute video. So I thought what I would do first is maybe add one of these sparkly little trees right next to our house. That really sounds like a good idea, so we'll do that. Okay, and I've got a lot of little, look at these pretty, these little pink paper mulberry roses, and I was thinking one might be really cute right on that window. Let me just put a little glue around that window, add one of these right on. Okay, do I need another tree? Yes. Okay, we're going to do another tree. This is so simple, you guys. It's like just pulling out a bunch of stuff and just trying to go somewhere with it, right? And try to build. Like this little flat, you know, a little skinny house like this. you got to think, okay, what can I do with that? Okay. All right. So next, um, you know what I love? I, I love boa, the fur boa. I, I don't know what it is about the fur boa, but... It gives everything such a sweet look. Plus, in this case, it just kind of covers up all that wood back there that made this project come together. And I'm just going to pop a little scrap of fur boa right on there, like so. Okay. You know, I made... If you want to decorate the back of this, I had a wooden heart that I painted white. And then I added... Um, just a little heart rhinestone to it and added some glitter and I came up with this cute little cute little doodad right here which would be so pretty on the back of our work I always like the back of my work to look nice a little glue and lay that right there all right that looks pretty okay I've got some a few extra little flowers here that probably would look beautiful anywhere on this project. 
around this little sweet house. Maybe one right there. Maybe a second one right there. I think this is putting an old cookie cutter to good use. You guys, let me grab my glitter. There was no way this project was going to happen without some glitter. Let me just glitter the roof of our house. How about some? How about some right down in here too? Okay. Of course, the sky's the limit with glitter. <laughs> so sweet. I think that just really turned out precious. Okay, hang tight. I'm going to put this aside and let me show you what else I got. All right, so new in my Etsy shop for Valentine's Day, I've got some new colors in velvet trim. This is a super pale pink and this is a really beautiful Valentine red. So I have those available. And I also have, I um, sewed out of old book pages and made these pockets and it's a vintage Valentine inspired kind of stuffed pocket. These are so fun for using all these little pieces in your junk journals or your crafting or assemblages and um, there's 30 pieces all together in this and in this little bag look at all the little goodies in here Vin vintage bingo and flowers and a little f fluffy fur and buttons and in here, there's um, tags, old coffee-dyed library cards. Look at this, um, the vintage playing card with the little deer and yellow roses. Um, book pages. Um, there's coffee-dyed fabric and shabby sheet fabric and lace and chiffon ribbon. Um, now, now, disclaimer, every one of these is has vintage pieces, and we know that vintage... Uh, does that we can't just order it on Amazon, right? It only goes so far and there and it's one of a kind. So every one of the packets has a vintage Valentine, a vintage photo, and a vintage die cut that is going to be different. But I guarantee you you're gonna love them. They're all gonna be beautiful. And look at look at this little tag here. Isn't that the sweetest? That's in every one of the packets too. So I have those available for you. And like I said, these are really fun to craft with and um they're in my Etsy shop. Link to my shop is below. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this sweet little cookie cutter uh, Valentine assemblage. And um, if you liked it, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you for our next creative project. P.S. you guys, I'll pop this in my Etsy shop if anybody would like to give it a good home. <laughs> see you soon.